Welcome to Isha Gaming. These are my top 10 Nintendo Switch games for casual gamers. That means it can also apply to non-gamers because they are so likable. I also have a complete top 10 list and you can find that in the top corner. Now in 10th place of a casual game that would most likely appeal to everyone, we have Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. It is a 2019 game by Beanox, published by Activision, and it is out for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and it is a single player and multiplayer split screen, up to four players racing game, much like Mario Kart. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled has 56 unlockable characters in total, 44 race tracks, including arena tracks. This game also has several actual hub areas that you drive around in when you're navigating between tracks. A ton of tracks to play, as a lot of them has been added to the game through updates, with plenty of diversity. Also a whole bunch of customizable characters, each with many skins to choose from, and also every cart is highly customizable as well, down to wheels, paint job and sticker. Online multiplayer actually has a lot of active members as of right now. This game has cup races, time trials, battle modes, ring rally, relic race and just loads of things to do and unlock. This game is simply fun for anyone. But the con to this game is that I feel like the loading screens are a bit on the longer side. On ninth place, we have another racer, this time Team Sonic Racing. This is also a 2019 racing game. It is by Sumo Digital, published by Sega. It is out for PS4, Xbox One, PC and Switch. It has single player and multiplayer, both online and four player split screen. This game has 15 characters and 21 tracks, all based on locations from the main Sonic games. To be honest with everyone, I actually enjoyed Team Sonic Racing more than Crash Team Racing. Because in this game it just feels easier to drift. You have Grand Prix, story missions, on a map to progress on, actually, I like that. A bunch of tracks, missions, characters, and unlockable car parts and customization options. This is a solid racing game, and it is fun for anyone at any age and at any gaming experience level. What? And it is also definitely worth it if you are already a Sonic fan to begin with. So many things to unlock, and when it comes to the difficulty, I would say it is medium, and it is easy enough for kids. I have no doubt, my friend. Now in place number 8, I am putting New Super Lucky's Tale, which is a remake of a 2017 game. This improved version was released on the Switch in 2019, and soon after announced for all other consoles. This colorful mascot 3D platformer by Playful Studios is the perfect light-hearted Switch game to be enjoyed by all ages. I enjoyed it, and a small kid will also enjoy this. I feel like New Super Lucky's Tale took inspiration from the 3D platformers prime era of the 90s. With full camera control of a cute fox mascot, you're free to explore several different levels and locations while collecting coins, lucky letters and book pages. This game is incredibly fun and relaxing, with a difficulty I would call very easy. Except for some bosses later on that can be more on the hard side. Graphics, gameplay and music is fab. Watch my review of this game, link down below. Now in 7th place, I am putting Spyro Reignited Trilogy. It is a really nice game for casual players. Another 3D platformer and also a trilogy remake of the popular Spyro games for the PlayStation in the 90s. This is a superb remake of the old classics. Absolutely a charm to play as Spyro in these three full games. You're getting the bang for your buck. Each with a whole bunch of different levels with collectibles, gems and dragon eggs everywhere. <laughs> I love it but the camera angles can feel dated and or janky sometimes. But it's not game breaking. 
there is a great value to be found in this trilogy and if you want to find and collect everything the game will last you for a long time. Spyro is pretty much easy in the beginning but gets progressively more hard into the game. So that's why I feel like it appeals to pretty much anyone at any skill level at any age. What I like to try and do is to collect everything so that I get 100% on all levels. That is so satisfying. On sixth place, I'm putting Crash Bandicoot and Saiyan Trilogy. Much like Spyro Reignited Trilogy. This is a remake of the 90s uh, classics trilogy on the PlayStation. But in my opinion, Crash Bandicoot and Saiyan Trilogy is by far the hardest game on my entire list today. I think it is a hard game. But we can't deny that these three games are classic and they are good. Brutally hard, but also addicting. This time you're also getting three whole complete games in one package, which means a lot of value for your money. This is better for the teenager or adult actually. I think it's gonna be too hard for kids or the inexperienced with video games. But this character is incredibly likable, so that alone makes you want to keep playing and just not giving up. It's also going to last you a while if you want to find all hidden collectibles and secrets. The levels have variation to them, some having the camera fixed behind you, and some sections are side-scrolling, and sometimes the camera is even in front of you. <laughs> now in fifth place, we have New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. What a long title of a game. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. This game has a mascot that needs no introduction. Not only has it an incredibly long and confusing title, but it is a perfect casual gamer's game. Super casual stuff. It is a 2.5D game as sprites are 3D, but all gameplay is in a side-scrolling fashion like in any classic old Mario side-scrolling fashion, actually. This is a remake of the Wii U game with a few new added features for the Switch version. This is a lot of fun and a solid title and it's good for newcomers to gaming because it has both an easy and very easy game mode. I mean, this way, a three-year-old can also feel a sense of progression and have fun with a game, in my opinion. But if you want a real challenge, try beating the Luigi mode, which is also included. On fourth place is a game that probably doesn't need any long introduction because you probably already have it because everyone has this game. I know I'm not talking about Breath of the Wild, I'm talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is a life simulator game where you have your own house, which you can collect furniture for and decorate whichever way you want on your very own island with your very own neighbors, which you can get to know and sometimes help out with small tasks. It's a game that follows real life time and seasons with a lot of different things to do, like collecting all the bugs and fish or collecting a specific set of furniture if that is what you want to do. It's a very relaxing and easy to understand premise and very often I hear non-gamers and casual gamers enjoying this game. Very appealing to that audience. Now in third place of this video, if you are enjoying this video, hit like on it or subscribe. But in third place I have Super Mario Kart 8 and it is the best kart racer on the Switch. Super Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is fast, fun, frantic and just about the best party and multiplayer game for everyone. I mean including your parents, anyone. Anyone with a driver's license, basically. Over 40 playable characters, vehicle customization, Joy-Con, split-screen, couch co-op, battle arenas, you name it. This is the deluxe edition, which is a remaster from the Wii U game, but also including all extra DLC content like extra tracks and playable characters, all that stuff. In single-player mode, you have all the Grand Prix Cups and time trials. 
48 tracks, everyone, and 42 playable characters. All your favorites from Mushroom Kingdom, but also Link and Animal Crossing characters. Online multiplayer, a bunch of content, and just has everything. If you haven't played this already, just get it. I am sure all your friends and all of your family already knows what Mario Kart is. It is such an established kart racing video game series. I mean, Mario Kart is just as casual as you can get. On second place, I am having Super Mario Odyssey. I played Super Mario Odyssey when it was released in 2017 and it still amazes and surprises me now whenever I decide to sit down with it again. And that happens occasionally, going back to it, I mean. But I'm surprised every time. It is what I would call a 10 out of 10 3D Mario game. And I truly mean it when I say that this is good for anyone. At all ages and skill levels, 10 out of 10 game. If you happen to have a kid or a teenager, this would be a great gift for their birthday or simply the holidays, which is coming up now, or just in general. It is also one of the more entertaining titles to sit down and watch someone else play. It is that sort of game. In Super Mario Odyssey, you collect moons across the entire planet. All sorts of environments that you can think of. And Mario also often takes on different forms by throwing his hat on enemies and then getting their abilities. Transforming, sort of. It is a huge Mario game, and you can't go wrong with this title. Now in first place, this is the game that I recommend the most to a non-gamer, casual gamer, any age, young and old. This is the one. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. This is, in my opinion, the best choice. I mean, I was shocked when this triple pack was announced, to say the least. Not only does it have my childhood favorite, Super Mario 64, but it also has my entire teenage years' beloved Super Mario Sunshine and my mid-teens classic Super Mario Galaxy. This is my childhood. I loved them then, and I love them now. They are all top-notch video games. Three full games in one package. In all of these 3D Mario titles you play as Mario, with a total of over 60 different worlds across all three games, collecting a total of 360 stars or shines across all three games. I mean, even one single star can average between 5 to 30 minutes to acquire. And that's not even taking trial and error into consideration. While Mario 64 feels like a direct port, Super Mario Sunshine, on the other hand, feels much more worked on and it is the game I have personally been playing the most so far in this pack. It just looks so much better than what I remember on the GameCube all those years back. And now it is in widescreen. It has been nothing but pure joy to go back to it. And then we have Dear Galaxy. For many years, this was my favorite of all time 3D Mario game. But if you ask me now, I can't decide. I don't have a favorite 3D Mario game. But if I had to choose, I would say this trio and it absolutely holds up today. And I can pretty much say the same about Sunshine. It holds up today. If you're looking for a Switch game to give as a gift or even simply just buy for yourself, you can trust me 100% on this choice. It tops my list for this video because it is simply just that solid. Now let's hope Nintendo releases a Zelda triple pack much like this in the future. thank you so much for following along to the end of this video. I have an Instagram account and I would like you to follow me on there. And I also am very active on Twitter. I would love for you to follow me on there too. And if you want to support my channel, I have a Patreon page. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Now that was all for today, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I will see you later.